With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have to evaluate this given integral and the integral given to us is we have let it be i. So i is integral of x raised to power 4 minus x whole power 1 by 4 upon x raised to power 5 dx. So if we take this x raised to power 4 outside we have left with integral of x raised to power 4 into 1 by 4 because we have this whole power so and we have left with 1 and minus of x upon x raised to power 4 and whole power 1 by 4 and in denominator we have left with x raised to power 5 dx further simplifying we have this 4 and this 4 will cancel out so we have left with x upon x raised to power 5 whole integral this into 1 minus this x and this will goes x raised to power 3 times so we have 1 by x raised to power 3 dx and this and this will cancel out we have x raised to power 4 left here so we have integral of 1 minus 1 by x raised to power 3 whole power here is 1 by 4 and whole power 1 by 4 dx and we have in denominator x raised to power 4 left so let this 1 minus 1 by x raised to power 3 be t so so on differentiating this we have differentiation of 1 is 0 minus we have this is x raised to power minus 3 we can write it as d by dx is equal to dt and the differentiation of this term is equal to minus minus will be plus of 3 by x raised to power 4 dt is equal to dt so we have this term equal to dt so we have integral of this is t raised to power 1 by 4 and we have this term here we can write it as whole dt divided by 3 so we have left with 1 by 3 common we have integration of t raised to power 1 by 4 dt and x raised to power n integration dx will be equal to x raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus some c constant so similarly integrating this we have 1 by 3 integral of this will be equal to t raised to power 1 by 4 plus 1 upon 1 by 4 plus 1 so and here will be plus c that is some constant so we have 1 by 3 and t raised to power we have 5 by 4 upon 5 by 4 so it will be equal to 4 by 5 when we reciprocal it and this will come in so we have left with 4 by 3 into 5 is 15 and t raised to power 5 by 4 and plus c that is some constant so the final answer for this will be equal to i is equal to 4 by 15 into t is nothing but 1 minus 1 by x raised to power 3 so replacing t with this we have 1 minus 1 by x raised to power 3 whole power 5 by 4 and some constant that is c so this will be the final answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today